Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. And keep your eyes peeled because videos are going to be coming out teaching you guys all about how to get started for FIFA 22. Um, within the first few days of last year, people on the website, uh, obviously in my videos, people in the Discord were well over a million coins. Um, and if you can get a good start on a FIFA game, it keeps you ahead of the curve. Especially early on because teams really matter early on. I know you get a lot of cheap beasts, but if you've got those two or three sort of top class players, that will set you aside in things like division rivals, in weekend league, um, and it just keeps you well ahead of everyone else. So make sure you check out those videos. But this video is all about how to craft R9, and I'm going to be blunt with you, it simply isn't worth it. Um, it doesn't mean that I won't be doing it, and if I do it, I'll be bringing that out for a video for you guys to see it. Um, but for the price of that R9, in terms of crafting, either way, however you do it, you can get on either console, Vieira moments, Kraif moments, Messi and Kante, all of those, and still have fodder left over. To me, I know where the value's at. I don't think R9's worth it. I may still craft him just to do it because it's a challenge, but it's just simply not worth it to do. But a lot of you have asked about it. A lot of you so I've got quite a bit of fodder in my club. How would I go about crafting him? So I'm going to talk to you about how you craft him and the method that I would use to craft him. But again, I have to reiterate, I don't think it's personally worth it. The most important things you need to look at for crafting at the moment on this game are going to be these SBCs here in my opinion. The 87 plus times 10, the 82 plus player pick and potentially the 82 to 88 player pick as well. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but basically every time that you open up an 87 plus times 10, you're probably going to be able to complete one of Ronaldo's squads. At a higher end, it's going to use up a lot of the fodder. At a lower end, you'll probably get maybe two squads done with one of these packs. The problem with this is there are two days left on this SBC. Um, I think EA replaced it with something else, but you are at the whim of EA and hoping that EA go ahead and go, okay, well, here's another SBC. Now, they went from 85 to 87. You never know. They might go to 89 next. If they do, it will make this even more viable. Um, but yeah, just be mindful. I've got all my icon swaps left to do, so I probably will go ahead and do Ronaldo, but I'll, I'll let you know. Anyway, where I would start is where I've started most times, and that is with gold packs. Um... Gold pack method right now is quite strong. Now, in terms of like the standard like non-rare golds, they sell for anywhere between sort of 600 to 2,000, depending on rating or depending on uh, nation and stuff like that. Um, but basically, with gold pack method, it, over the time of doing it, it's very hard to lose coins on. And the reason for that is consumables are extremely high right now. And sometimes you'll hit something ridiculous, which either can be used in Ronaldo or sold for more gold packs. And that's usually the better option. But for example, in this gold pack, we've gone and got ourselves whatever we've got here. So I'm going to take the rare card because why not? Um, what you want to do is just check the price. Like I've said before, I've done this in the video before and showed you guys that of absolutely everything. Because some of the lower rated stuff does sell. So for example, Pastore here, there's a 950, 1000. You can arguably get 800 coins for him. And he's not overusable for this method too much. He might want to get back some coins. But essentially, you're going to keep opening up these packs and sell everything. Now... I'm quick selling these contracts. Every single contract on this game will sell for 200 coins. You have to mass list them though. No matter what you do, it's so important that you mass list them. List up 100 at a time, you'll get 200 coins every time. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to get rid of them. And then you repeat it again. You keep repeating that process um, throughout the time. Some packs you'll lose coins on, some you'll gain on. You guys saw me do it the other day. Sometimes you'll do really well, sometimes you'll do less well. It's just how it goes. But what you're doing here is you're basically filling up your club with loads of stuff that it can be used in those upgrade SBCs. And now, for example, this pack here, Striker to centre forward, if you compare price on them, they're about 5,000 coins. You struggle to not get 5,000 for them eventually to lift them up. Now, again, you're better off mass listing these things at the same time because you'll get more coins for them. So, for example, centre forward to Cam sells for, I don't know what is at the moment, but let's say it's 1,000 coins. If you list up 10 of them, you'll sell them for 1,000 coins. If you list up one, you're less likely. But you repeat that process and you'll get loads of non-rare golds and rare golds into your club that are sitting there chilling, which is fine. We then head back to the squad building challenges and this is where you need to be smart about where you put things. So for me, the most viable place to pick up the fodder you need for the 87 plus times 10 is going to be the 82 plus pick. So the 87 plus times 10, you need an 84 squad, an 83 squad, an 82, an 80 and an 81. Anything sort of below, in my opinion, 78 rated sometimes 79 rated if you really want to, should be stuck into this 82 plus player pick. It needs all gold, four rares, 60 chem. So obviously you want to build up the chemistry by putting players from the same leagues in there. Everything that's basically 78, 78 rated or below goes into this. Now you might need to stick some rare golds in there, but that's fine. That is what it is. 
The 82 plus pick will then give you a selection. And I think it's one of four at the moment, if I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. One of three. Gold players rated 83, 82 rated or higher, okay? So you'll get these, these cards, and you'll keep doing it and grinding it out and grinding it out and grinding it out. Um, and you'll then be able to put those cards into the 87 plus times 10. So initially, that's where I would be pacing my, my, my things. All of my cards go straight into that. And that's where I'll go about starting it off and, and, and doing that. However, once you get to the lower end of Ronaldo's squads, um, so these sort of 85s, 86s, these squads down here that are lower rated, still utilize the 82 plus player pick, but you might want to consider the 82 to 88. I don't think this is great value, but you get nine gold players from it, uh, nine gold players into it, two of any other, so two bronzes, and that gets you an 82 to an 88. It's not bad value, but I, I still prefer, in, in my opinion, a better place to put these cards is going to be in the 82 plus pick. The only problem you have with that is chemistry, like I say. Now, this isn't to say that EA won't go and bring out other upgrade packs. They tend to do that, just throw random bits and bobs on the game. But it's something to be mindful of that you're at the whim of EA here. It all depends on what EA bring out because a lot of this stuff, like I say, it ends in two days, that 87 plus. We've seen an 85, we've seen an 87, potentially now going to go ahead and see an 89, but you never do know. 80 plus, 88 plus pick, just not worth it in my opinion. Um, but that's basically the method. And then what you want to be doing essentially is putting each of those 87 plus upgrades into each Ronaldo squad. For example, the, the 92 rated squad, which is extremely high, extremely high, only requires 30 chemistry. So it's not going to be hard to build chemistry up on these, these SPCs at all. Again, it's a lot of work though. And I, I don't know if I trust EA enough to be sitting there going, okay, cool, I'm going to start, I'm going to get started on this. If I do get started on it, it will probably be once we know if there's going to be a replacement for the 87 plus times 10. That's my mentality. But other things that you should think about are random SBCs EA bring out. Now, I've gone and done Nani just because I like the card. But this Andre Pierre Gignac, uh, both him and Nani were 81 rated squads. And you can basically bid on the cards and get these cards cheaper um, than the cheapest 80, 95 in the game. So Gignac and Nani cost 29k to do, basically. Um, and cheapest player by rating on Footbin. Let me have a little look quickly. It's going to go down to 95 rated squads. So cheapest 95 on the game right now is Morata, who is 35k. Uh, some 36 and 39ks. So no matter what, they're cheaper than any other 95 rated card. However, one of those is going to get an upgrade, okay? Guaranteed to get an upgrade. Both of them may get an upgrade. If both get an upgrade, the cheapest 96 is 40k. Um, if a one of them gets an upgrade, then the cheapest 97 is 60k. No matter what, their value. In terms of fodder, you can't go wrong. If you haven't done any objectives yet, there's the Adama Troyo objective. There's loads and loads and loads of objectives that you can do. And a lot of the objectives give you other cards. So I think actually, they are gone now. That's a shame. No, they're there. Uh, so for example, Triore gave me like foot birth to Triore. You can then go and get like 92 Triore, then the 95 Triore. There are things you can do. And even when you're doing the game, just playing the game in general, things like draft days gives you packs just by doing drafts. There are loads and loads of ways that you can go and get more fodder for R9. I still maintain, though, that it just isn't worth it because you can get so much more for your money, and that's where my quandary is. My squad's currently looking like this. Now, this is about... I think I've been on this account for about three months in total. My mentality is, why would I go and do R9 when I can just go and get Messi to link to my Verratti and, and my Paredes, for example? I can go get Kante to link to Chilwell. For me, why would I go and do it? That's what I've got to do, and that's even with all this fodder that I've built up in the club for the last few days. Like, this is for me grinding and just getting fodder. I've picked up all that fodder from very little work and still I'm debating if it's worth it. One thing to note, from the 87 plus times 10, you also do get back packs, which aren't great packs, but they're packs nonetheless. From the packs that I just got, this is the stuff that I've basically got as duplicates. Um, some of it isn't duplicate anymore. I can send some of it to club because I've used it in the 87 plus times 10 afterwards. Um, but like a striker sent it for a card again, 5,000 on him, it will, on that we will sell. But yeah, that's how you go about crafting R9. Again, do I think it's worth it? No, I don't. We'll open up the 87 plus times 10 pack because you'll see what we get in this. Um, essentially, what you need to do from this pack is get enough to make up a, um, a squad that's 92 rated. And it's probably going to be very difficult to not do that, if we're being honest. So you get a big view, which is 91 rated. We're hoping for some Summer Stars or something behind that. And we do, we get Paredes, Morata, Yaziki. So that's going to be enough, basically, to go ahead and do one of those squads, without a doubt. And probably leave a little bit of change left over if you can sort of dot a few cards into your squad. So... It's not it's not difficult to do. It's long-winded. But again, like I say, you are at the whim of EA to some degree. But that's basically what you'd have to do. Repeat that process continually over and over again to get the squads done. And that is how you craft R9. But don't do it. I, I, I can't stress this enough. 
I know it's R9, but just don't do it. Go and get Messi, Kante, all those cards. It'll make your team 10 times better in the long term. But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.